Time for another crazy day hike in the Sierras from home. Going up Shepherd Pass today. Heading for Mount Tyndall. I already had my first bit of excitement this morning as I ran into a stuck mini on the road. I was able to get around it luckily. And the person there said that the tow truck's supposed to be up at about 8 o'clock, so I guess they're taken care of. Hopefully I'll see them later on the trail today. Approaching the saddle, or Symes Pass. Just noticing, I wonder if those are Court Echel and Bat Pinnacle. Not certain, but they're supposed to be visible from this trail. Though that could be farther up. Turned off the headlamp about 5.30, a little after. Yep, made it to the pass right about sunrise. You can see the sun starting to light up the peaks. I think that's polychrome there. And Williamson. It's the east and west horns in the main summit there. Best of all, no clouds yet. It's a rather nice blazing star along the trail. On the dreaded downhill section. And there's more where he came from. Nice little crop of them. Nice little waterfall on Shepherd Creek. I do remember this canyon being quite scenic with this with this river here. And Polychrome Peak. Second waterfall, just below the first one I showed you, right there. Approaching the low point, here's some water running, so sounds like there should be plenty of water there. And there's even more blazing stars here. Brought along one of my coffee turbo boost so I was going to leave it at Anvil Camp but I may leave it right here since this uphill on the way back is what I'm going to need it for. So that's the low spot right there and I think these are the cliffs that are the reason it needs to drop so low. I think there's more above it too. Yeah, that's some pretty good flow.
my turbo boost for this afternoon is right there under that rock. Staying nice and cool. Since that's such an appetizing looking spigot, I went ahead and did some non-filtering. Not a lot, just like half a bottle. Passing above one of the waterfalls. Can't really tell from here which one it is. The first or the second. This trail is definitely out in the sun. An early start is advised. Comes another little side creek. Looks like this one had a little bit of flash flooding too. See where these bushes got mowed over. Better coming back. Looks like some evidence of flash flooding on Shepherd Creek too, which is not surprising. The big one that happened in this canyon, I'm sure funneled down into here. A nice view of this little waterfall from the trail. This is that last side stream that I crossed over. The one with the flash flood down there. Right down there. Looks like I've reached the big washout. It's pretty big, all right. Although this is not where the trail normally crosses. This is like at the corner of a switchback. But up just a little higher is where I should be having to cross this. Looks like there might be a use trail going over that way. But I'll see what it's like up above first. Here's the trail switchbacking. Yeah, it looks like quite a chasm up there. And there it goes further down. Looks like it meets up with Shepherd Creek right down there. Anvil camp should you be just up here in these trees somewhere. So there's the trail over there. And there's the washout. And it looks like they're directing you up this way 
to what's probably an easier crossing of the chasm. Yeah, it looks like it might be a little easier right up there. A little bit gentler slopes on the sides. I could probably get down here and could probably scramble up the other side, not too far away. I think I'll try the recommended crossing. Okay, I am in the chasm. So this wall is at least 15 feet high right here. Dropped in right up there by that rock stack. Came down here. I'll probably just step carefully over to here and head up this way. Another rock stack peeking over the bigger rock right there. There we go. It's a little hairy in one spot, but there might be a better way. So I started up there, about the center of the screen. Here comes the trail over here. Yep, quite a sight. Now the trail going up is right over there. Guess we crossed the main Shepherd Creek here. Shoes got a little wet on this one. I may do a shoes off crossing on the way down. Just past the pothole. The trail gets a little steep after that. Starting to get a little tired. Definitely feeling the altitude. We still got plenty of daylight. So I'm trying not to hurry myself. Entering the moraine. Spotted some flowers too. Something that likes to grow on the rocks. Nope, sorry, not sky pilots. Sierra columbines. But hey, maybe up on Tyndall. Still going. Should be less than 500 feet to go. Just right up there. And wouldn't you know it, there is still a little snow there. There he is. And look at the dusting of snow on him. I guess those recent rainstorms were snowing at 14,000 feet. Hopefully that won't pose much of a problem. I'm just about ready to head up there. I ate my first sandwich, drank some milk. I even have a visitor. Thought my sandwich looked awfully good. He was sitting over on the rock, but now he's coming to see me again. He's 
pretty close. I'm zoomed all the way out. They are awfully cute. As long as they don't chew stuff up. It's pretty easy going for a while. And I climbed this little snow patch up down there. And now we're onto some boulders with some occasional dirt. Heading for the North Rib right there. There's Mount Williamson and the Williamson Bowl. I hear that's quite a slog fest to go through. Well, maybe I'll find out next year if I go over there. Meanwhile, the North Rib is approaching. Definitely on the North Rib now. It's pretty fun. Just lots of little things to climb over and around. Not really terrifying exposure. Fairly easy gradient. Shepherd Pass. There are some clouds around, but they're more to the west. Hoping it'll stay fairly clear over here. There's a few puffies. Hey, I wonder if that's Bat Pinnacle. About the right distance from Mount Keith over there. Very well could be. Still having fun. And we're getting up there. Slowly but surely. Here you can see all the snow I could see from below. Probably freshly fallen about a week ago. See that little divot right there? I just ate some. Man, was it good. It'd be almost there, to the ridge anyway. Looks like we've just about finished up the rib. Looks like the snow is not going to block me either. Here we are. The North Rib Notch. Hey, there's a familiar face over there in the distance. That's all I have left, I think. Here we are. A little summit block too. Didn't know that was here. So there's Trojan Peak. And Mount Williamson. I guess that's Independence way down there. Probably Junction Peak. Probably Caltech Peak over there somewhere. Diamond Mesa. Big flat one is Table Mountain. The one with the point on the top is Milestone Mountain. Not sure what this one is here in the foreground. There's the Kuiyas back there.
There's Barnard and Whitney in the background. And Russell, I guess. And there's the rest of the Williamson Bowl. It's a steep drop off here too. I think I can do this safely. Yow! I heard there were some class 5 roots over here. Have fun. Sailplane. Can you hear him? Wondered what that was. I've been trying to find an alternate to the north rib, but I just keep running into more problems, which wouldn't be so bad if the weather was starting to worry me a little bit. So I think I'm going to duck down over here and head back for the north rib. Just go down that way. I know I can do that. Just bailed off the north rib. It looked like a nice sandy descent this way. It's pretty black over there, but not so much overhead. So I think I still got some time. Okay, I think I'm finally down off the difficult stuff. There's that snow patch I ascended in the morning. Clouds are doing okay. All that nasty stuff over there isn't coming over here yet. So just hustle on over to Shepherd Pass. Well, still blue skies up there above Tyndall. But you know, you just never know. And I'm not one to take risks like that. That's polychrome. There's Keith. So maybe that's the two peaks for the Sierra Challenge. The taller one is Cor de Shell and the shorter one is the Bat Pinnacle. Junction Peak. Still pretty dark over there. But not here. Thank goodness. Just about back to Shepherd Pass. I think that cloud's starting to thunder a little bit. Perhaps another one over there. The Tyndall's in the bright sunshine. I 
as is polychrome. All right, time to head on down. So I guess I never actually went to Shepherd Pass. Close. But now it's time to say farewell to Tyndall. And a cautious neener, neener, neener to this thunderstorm. Much better looking weather out there. I guess it didn't like the neener, neener, neener. It's coming after me. Better pick up the pace a little bit. Back at the washout again. Looks like there is a use trail going downhill here. Might give that a shot instead of climbing back up the hill again. Oh boy, what a mess. And luckily the thunderstorm isn't causing it to go again. This looks like a pretty good entrance here. The other side right across the way is still pretty steep. I'm thinking down there will be the way out. Right there. Yep, that worked out pretty good. A little tricky coming down the washout. And the exit was pretty easy. Nothing I haven't been doing all day on Tyndall. Alright, down we go. Those dark clouds aren't going away. It's kind of nice, they're providing some shade. Started the uphill. Farewell, Shepherd Creek. May this help me get to the top quickly. Made it to the real last saddle. Just under 35 minutes from the low spot. I think that energy drink helped. Motoring along pretty good. And wouldn't you know it, I'm being greeted by another thunderstorm. It's already started rumbling. Gotta get down quick. Almost down to Symes Creek. And I could see this morning that it had its own problems with flash flooding. The four crossings that were kind of overgrown before are a little more out in the open now. This is the last crossing as you go up the hill. Wandered around up that way looking for the trail this morning in the dark. It was right here. That cost me a couple minutes. I guess the four quick crossings are necessitated by the narrowing canyon here and these big cliffs. Quickly squeeze you off to the other side of the tr creek again. Luckily they do leave you aside. Like this tree got a little bowled over. If this big tree survived. Wow, what a path. Crossing number three. We're going in descending order. Because obviously we're going down the trail. Quite a destructive path through here. 
question is, where did these logs come from? Were they here? Did they come from way up the mountain? Crossing number two. I had crossed right here in the morning, but I crossed upstream just now, which wasn't the best way. And the first one. This one had some tricky steps coming down over there. All right, bye-bye, Symes Creek. Time to dash back to the car. Well, that sure happens quick as you emerge from the canyon, unlike Taboose. I don't see the Mini. I guess she must have parked it down the road. Nice long day. 15 hours. That's not even counting the drive up and the drive home. That's going to be fun.